it's a meet event and I cannot wait for this fight because it's obviously the return of Johnny Walker and he's taking on Jamal Hill who's 9-1-1 uh, has been looking super impressive of late most recently got that KO finish over Jimmy the Brute crew it was heavy it was early and uh, it was something it was a fight that really opened a lot of people's eyes I think to how talented is Jamal Hill and what is his ceiling at 205 and this is going to be a great test against Johnny Walker who last time we saw him was against Thiago Santos it was a main event it was definitely a snooze fest of a contest not uh, I don't think it materialized as we hoped for and as a lot of people hoped for uh, but he ended up dropping that decision to Mejeta Santos and if we look he has lost three of his last four right he lost to Nikita Krylov uh, that was a very underwhelming performance from Johnny Walker admittedly and uh, he got TKO'd by Corey Anderson you and I were at that one live and uh, that was kind of when the hype train you could say was uh, initially derailed but he did sneak in that nice win over Ryan Superman span uh, in between there so what are your thoughts on this one as he's coming in as a about plus 200 dog Jamal Hill is around minus 200 and uh, I don't know that I'm still a believer in Johnny Walker I, I still think he can uh, you know rebound and has a lot left to prove but is this like the last opportunity for uh, Johnny Walker to really sort of uh, turn his career around and uh, are you picking him or are you going Jamal Hill yeah no this is crazy these are both two young guys uh, mm -hmm. you know Johnny Walker 29 Hill 30 you know they're starting to peak in their prime they got a couple more years in them of really growing and I don't know, Johnny Walker has been fighting savages for a couple years now. I think the, the skill level that he's been fighting is on a whole level compared to Jamal Hill. And the one guy, uh, Bear Jew, who is an absolute savage, we saw what happened, you know absolute smash Jamal Hill and so this is me an interesting levels test but Jamal Hill has definitely been proving himself that you know he is the real deal like he's a very good fighter but is he at that next level caliber that Johnny Walker just barely trickles on that we're not sure if he's the goat or if he's a bum uh because Johnny Walker's been having a tough time in the last four fights and you know he barely got through that that Ryan Span Superman um but I got to go with Walker in this. I think the experience and he's driven. Um, I think I think he's the stronger, faster, more athletic athlete. But Jamal Hill's very nice hand. So it'll be very interesting to see how this plays out on the stand-up. And we already know if, if Johnny gets touched, he's going down. And Jamal Hill can definitely touch people up. But we know Johnny Walker has insane power if he touches anyone, just like the Ryan Spann fight. Uh, he touches you while he's all droozy boozy, and he will absolutely maul you. So I think this is going to be a slobber knocker. I don't see this going past the first round, but i got to go with Walker because he's just so much more entertaining. I don't I don't like the Mark Hill, uh, you know, just being a sellout trying to do shoeys of Gatorade. Uh, you know, try, it's like, yo, leave that to shoey boy, um, the skirt guy, and, and then find your own niche. Johnny Walker's got the dance, uh, you know, party boy, and I prefer that over... Uh, the Mark Hill. Yeah, he's he's such a stud, right? Like Johnny Walker has the charisma. Like we we've discussed before. Like he was almost like the, uh, if, and I know this is gonna catch on me, but he was like the Jiri before Jiri, right? He was like getting all the hype. He was uh, bringing the cool energy, and uh, you know it it definitely came to a crashing halt. And you wonder if he is able to rediscover his sauce against Sweet Dreams, who you mentioned if he touches you, uh, you're going to sleep. And we know Johnny Walker has been prone to eat some shots. Like it's, I think you put it perfectly. It's such a delicate balance as to whether or not Johnny Walker is a stud or if he is a bum. And I think that this is going to be like one of those last opportunities to just you know, pick a direction, uh, so to speak, for Johnny Walker. And uh, if we look over at Tapology, 79% is rolling with Sweet Dreams Hill. 21% is going with Johnny Walker. And, uh, you know, I also like your point about uh, Jamal Hill and, you know, kind of trying to steal the shoe. I mean, he did it out of like a Nike and it was like a body armor. I, I don't know. I don't I, I would, I'm with you. I wish that he would like find uh, his own niche and uh, do something a little bit more uh, original, so to speak. But I'm with you in this fight that I think Johnny Walker is going to find a way to get this done. Uh, I love the intensity from their stare down. Uh, it seemed like both these guys are, are ready to roll. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm with you in that I think Johnny Walker can get this done over Jamal Hill. I don't know if it's going to, you know, be a one round ending slobber knocker contest just because like, we thought that same thing about the Tiago Santos fight. So it's like, is there any chance that this thing lasts 
longer than a round and is maybe a snooze fest similar to that Maheto fight or is this guaranteed fireworks? I think this is guaranteed fireworks. That that face off had me wild and pumped. Yeah, like hype. honestly, I wasn't really like, excited for this card, but after seeing that face off, I'm like, this is gonna be a banger, and people are not gonna want to miss this. And I think no matter what happens, I think if if, it, if it's the the hype brawl, I think that's gonna happen. I think both these fighters' stock goes up. They're both so young. They have a long life shelf, uh, you know, in this game right now. I think all depends if Johnny doesn't get slept. Jamal Hill has not been knocked out, only his arm snapped into brittle little pieces. So uh, he's got a lot of time still left. He's 30, he's young. Johnny Walker's chin, that's the only thing I worry about, you know. But he looked good versus Mahete, you know, for Mahete being such a savage himself and an absolute veteran. He did lose, but he did not get KO'd. Um, so if, if Walker can pull through this one, I think he has a, a nice uh, sizzle back up to the top. Yeah, and my last question is, uh, you know, knowing the sort of faulty chin that Johnny Walker does possess and like the mean power that Jamal Hill is coming with, any chance that Johnny Walker tries to clinch up, maybe try to take this thing to the mat? Like we haven't we haven't seen Johnny Walker implement uh, a lot of that, but given the fact that, you know, he's been getting his, his chin tested and is going against Sweet Dreams, do you think maybe he tries to use his strength and slight size and slight reach advantage and uh, take this to the mat or is that maybe a stretch no that, that that would be interesting and actually i could totally see that because we haven't seen jamal hill do any grappling and the little he did his arm broke in half so uh how much worse at grappling is he than johnny we don't know but i would love to find out just to see how that exchange goes does jamal have a gas tank can he grapple for three rounds johnny's been looking leaner than ever so i imagine he's been putting in the work on the mats with the grapplers um and i think johnny uh it's all about his headspace this kid is future champ potential it's it's like you know like a lot of these guys say it's 90 percent mental the 10 percent is you know the fighting because we've seen johnny do absolute wonders in the ring and then we've seen him absolutely get demolished very bad so it'll be very interesting to see um you know how explosive and how i guess um uh, you know is he gonna go for something new or is he gonna go for crazy wild johnny walker and just get caught and maybe slept back to sleep i don't know but i like this I, i'm banking off johnny's and it make a great comeback fight this will be a massive win for him because a lot of people especially the casuals are high on jamal hill um they think he is the next goat for some reason but you know you got maga meat you still got johnny walker so we'll see how he fights but maybe he is we'll, we'll see after this fight yeah this this is going to be the revealing one for sure i personally cannot wait but looks like both me and boy are rolling with johnny walker we're picking him for this juicy meat value stake as an upset uh if we're spot on, if we're spot on, let us know. Also, if we're way off and you're rolling with Sweet Dreams Hill, let us know in the comments. And uh, how do you think he's going to get it done? If so, but nonetheless, enjoy the action, Meat Boys.